Hey guys, Tommy Bryson here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys 20 different side hustles that can make you anywhere between $500 to $1,000 per month. Now, I say that, however, I push some of these side hustles like $10,000 per month, $20,000 per month, but when you first start, you start at $500 and $1,000, so let's just stick to that, but if you want to push even further, you can if you want to. And the goal for this video was to make sure at least 75% of these you can actually do from home if you want to because of everything that is going on right now. So guys, comment down below and let me know this one thing. If you were making an extra $500 to $1,000 per month, comment down below, what would you do? And before you say, hey, I would pay some bills on my credit card, I know that, but tell me something that you would do that you actually want to do, like have fun in some way. Comment down below, let me know. I'll probably go on vacation again and have some more fun because again, you want to make money. Yes, you want to pay bills, but it's not always about paying bills. So you want to focus on, hey, I can do this. This is really fun. It's going to motivate me to actually go out there and try one of these out. But bills and credit cards don't really motivate you that much. And guys, as always, I do post videos every single day on YouTube. So make sure you guys like this video. And on top of that, also click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And now guys, the very first side hustle you can actually do is actually make and sell resumes and actually revise resumes for people out there. Tommy, why would I do this? The answer is, well, because of everything that's going on right now, a lot of people will lose their jobs and they will need to revise their resumes. And who is better to actually do it? The answer is you and you can charge between $15 per resume, $20, $50, even $100 to $500. I've seen a bunch of them depending on the niche you want to focus on. People that make a lot of money are willing to pay a lot more money for a resume. If they don't make a lot of money, they won't pay you that much. You can offer that service either on Fiverr or Upwork. You have services you can go on and basically say like, hey, I make resumes, hire me, and I'll charge you this much, and this way you get some work. So number one is resumes. Number two is to actually make jewelry and sell it on Etsy. Now Etsy is like Amazon, but more for like for niche, like jewelry and stuff like that. So for example, guys, this right here costs around a dollar and 50 cents, maybe even less to make. This piece of string right here is like maybe like 20 cents, and all they do is burn it together, and then boom, you have a string. This right here might cost like 50 cents to a dollar and just like attach it to it and sell it on Etsy or any other website or Amazon for like $5 or $7. So right then and there, you just made a massive profit just by selling little jewelry things just like this. If you want to, you can go on Amazon or AliExpress and buy things in bulk materials and then basically sell them for yourself and make a profit. Number three is you can actually be a video editor, okay? By the way, I make all my videos. I edit my videos and I learn how to do this for free on YouTube without having to like, oh, I'm gonna hire a teacher, I'm gonna go like to school and college, like get a degree, get student loans. The answer is no, you can learn everything on YouTube and this skill of like editing videos can make me anywhere between $25 an hour all the way to 50, even sometimes $100 per hour depending on the project you're working on. And that's why video editing is so important because you can actually learn how to do it for free. On top of that, you also have, number four is transcribing audio or video and making subtitles for it. Tell me, how much money can this pay me? The answer is it can pay you anywhere between $5 per minute or $5 for five minutes. I've seen this on Fiverr all the time. So when you go to Fiverr and you offer your service, you can offer for $5 per five minutes. And this way, for example, if I hired you to just say like, hey, can you make the subtitles for my videos? You can do that and I'll pay you money just for writing down what I'm saying. And that's about it, okay? Very simple job, but it can pay you a lot of money also, depending if you're like translating languages or a whole bunch of different things. But the point is, it's possible to make money just by typing what somebody else is saying. Now, number five is you can actually make money by typing or for example, even speaking. So for example, there are people out there that have a blog and they need articles. So you can be the person to make those articles for them and charge them like $15 per article or $25 or $50 depending on the article length and that way you get paid money but there's also software out there where all you have to do is basically like talk and it gets written down for you and that's basically it so this way you have to type anything but you just talk like hey this article is about this if you have good grammar it's good for you but if you don't have good grammar 
it might not be the best job for you. We can make money just by speaking or typing articles for other people out there. Number six is you can actually sell your footage. Tommy, what do you mean here? Well, if you have a face, which I'm pretty sure you do, you can go out there and record yourself doing different things or record like aerial spots of like New York City and little like um drone shots like in, in like movies and stuff like that. And you can sell that stuff on this website called Black Box, okay? And when you sell that stuff, make sure you record it in 4K and you can sell that footage to people to then put it in their videos and they pay you a fee. It can go anywhere between $120 or $500 depending on the footage you have and the quality of it. So I can go outside, record a video of myself like running and just people use that video to actually make their own video and that way I get paid for just like showing my face and just like running around or making a video of like taxis in New York City, okay? Pretty awesome if you ask me. And now guys, number seven is actually just by selling services or drop shipping services. Tommy, what do you mean here? The answer is you can go on Fiverr or Upwork and see people hire editors, right? All the time. However, some businesses don't know about this stuff, okay? So for example, you can go to a business and say like, hey, I'm an editor, I can make that video for you and you can just pay me like $25 an hour and then go on Upwork and hire someone to do it for $15 an hour. And this way you get to keep the profit of $10 without having to do any work whatsoever. So pretty awesome, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of like messed up ethically, but if they don't know and you're like connecting them, you're the broker, so business is business, okay? Now, number eight, is you can teach a skill and sell it on Craigslist. For example, if you want to be a tutor or you want to be a guitar lessons instructor or a piano lessons instructor, put that service up on Craigslist and have people hire you but meet in public for the first day or two and that way you can get hired to do that job for them and usually it can range between $15 an hour to $80 an hour depending on the skill you're teaching that person. It's pretty cool also. On top of that, number nine is if you have a car, you can rent that car on an app that's like a ride sharing app basically and you can basically rent that car there and make money from that car however if you want to lease out 15 cars or 10 cars you can rent out all those cars now one app or multiple apps and make recurring money every single month and that's why it's so cool to just go out there get cars rent them without having to do anything except clean them like once a week and every now and then okay so awesome also now number 10 is actually selling t-shirts now I don't mean go home and then grab a t-shirt, buy the t-shirt, then, you know, put it on the thing and then like print it out, make the logo. No, I mean just go on Teespring or Amazon t-shirts and put your logo up there and basically sell t-shirts just like that without having to make anything or ship anything. They do all the work for you. So all you have to do is make the design. So if you don't know how to do that, just go on Fiverr or Upwork and hire someone to do that for you. And this way you can get paid money by putting that logo on your t-shirt and you didn't even draw it or do anything. Just like put it there and then boom, you're making money by selling t-shirts online without having to ship anything whatsoever. And now guys, number 11 is if you have extra space in your house, which is pretty like common and you're not using it, well, you can rent that space also to someone to basically, well, you can rent this space right here, store your stuff right there and pay me a monthly fee every single month. This call it basically like rent your space in a sense, but if you also have, for example, camera equipment, you can go out there and rent that out also for some extra cash every single month every time somebody needs it which is a lot of money if you have rental equipment it costs a lot of money trust me so renting it is pretty awesome but make sure it's insured so somebody doesn't steal from you or like steal your stuff and you're like okay i rented it but now it's like stolen so what do i do now well you call the cops okay sorry so on top of that number 12 is you can actually do sales tommy what can i sell the answer is well the key is Find a product that you think people are interested in. For example, for me, it's probably this. It's a big market for this. You might know what it is, but basically I use this to make like little knots in my hair and that's basically it. And this product right here might sell for around $11. So if I go, for example, on AliExpress, I can buy it for like $3 or $4 and then sell it to other people online for $10 or $12. And right there, I made a profit. For you, it might be selling, for example, iPhone cases. It might be selling whatever you want out there. But the point is, if you find a product that's not that great or might be great, well, you can actually start selling it yourself and make some money by doing sales. Number 13, guys, is actually by doing drop shipping. Drop shipping is kind of hard to get into because, again, you need to learn a lot of stuff. So I recommend if you guys have the money and you want to get into it, 
check out Paul Jalipsky. He has an entire course in it. And after taking this course in around two months or so, I was making around twenty thousand dollars in sales every single month, and it's pretty awesome to me. Okay, so check out this course, a very basic course on how to do everything drop shipping, and it's very easy and not really that expensive compared to how much money you'll actually make. I don't recommend you try drop shipping without taking a course, whether it's his or somebody else's, because it's very complicated. And you can lose a lot of money if someone doesn't guide you step by step. On top of that, number 14 is by reselling phones. So guys, if you guys don't know, I have this iPhone 10 right here. Not that big of a deal anymore, but anytime I want a new phone, for example, if I want the iPhone 11, I would just grab this phone and resell it over and over again and use the profits to buy a new phone. That's what I do all the time. So if you want to, after everything has calmed down in the entire world, you can go out there and buy phones for cheap and then sell them over for a higher price on eBay. Where do you buy them? Facebook and Craigslist and just like buy them for cheap there sell them on eBay and then boom you made a profit and that's what I did in college a lot of the times okay also number 15 is by going out there and doing garage sales I love garage sales because people are always in a rush to sell their stuff and they don't think about the price so I go to multiple garage sales all the time and basically find products that are there that are going to sell for a lot of money, but this person just wants to get rid of it, so they might sell it to me for a dollar. I grab it, I sell it on eBay, and boom, I made a profit. Usually, I'll make around $250 on a weekend, and basically, that's pretty good money, $1,000 a month, and you can probably do that also, and also make some money. So go around your area, once things settle down, and buy some stuff from raw sales, and sell it on eBay, and make some extra cash. And now, guys, from number 16 to 20, I wanted to include things that make a lot of money, yes, but it also takes a lot more work, but it's also also online so it's not really like oh I have to go to the space to actually do this the answer is no so pretty simple stuff but it does take a lot of work but it also does make you a lot of money so the first thing is number 16 is start a podcast so if you like something a topic whether that's relationships finance talking about business talking about bread or cooking or um, parenting whatever it is make a podcast about it on youtube or spotify or apple music whatever it is and or apple podcast what it's called and just basically make a podcast grow your audience and this way you can make money also by talking about something you actually enjoy talking about if you need someone to transcribe it for you or make like text for you just hire someone on fiverr to actually do it for you if you're not doing it yourself so podcasting is a pretty good gig and i think joe rogan makes around like 11 million dollars every single year by doing podcasts you don't need to make that much money but the point is you can make decent money by talking about something you enjoy talking about whatever it is okay on top of that you also have for example starting a youtube channel again a lot harder but also makes you a lot more money now i posted my first video when i was literally like around 12 years old i'm 23 years old now and i made my first dollar on youtube when i was around 20 or 22 years old and you might say tommy wow it took you a long time the answer is yes however now i make an average of around ten thousand dollars per month but when i first started out i made zero dollars for the first like almost like nine years or so okay so if you want to start it up you can if you want to but i recommend you take a course on it by graham stefan i took that course and it helped me a ton so check that out also check out his channel also link down below for graham's course now number 18 is you can actually be an influencer whether that's for tiktok or for example for instagram i know you probably think you need a cute butt or a pretty butt to go out out there take pictures and then boom you get some money oh, wow, you get the likes no you don't need all that stuff what you can do is you can basically go out there and create a niche or business on Instagram and basically sell a product to your audience whether that's a book club or that's fitness or that's business or finance whatever it is or whether you do want to be the model to post pictures with your pretty butt you can do it if you want to but the point is you don't just need a pretty face to make money on Instagram look at Gary Vee Look at me, okay? We're not the prettiest people out there, but the point is you can still make money, okay? It doesn't matter. On top of that, number 19 is sell an online course. Now, you don't need to be a master, have a PhD, or have a bachelor's degree, or be an accountant like I am, no. There's literally a lady that I know that basically makes videos about how she makes sourdough bread. It's like a course on it. And she made $60,000 in one year. So if you're good at, for example, video editing, making sourdough bread, cooking a certain thing, like whatever it is. If you find an audience for it, well, make a course about it and sell it online for some profits, okay? That's the excellent thing about basically selling a product, making it once and selling it over and over again and making more and more money. Now, lastly, number 20 is not really a side hustle, but it can be if you want to, but it takes a lot of work and that is 
coding, computer science. Now, tell me why computer science? The answer is I found this video on YouTube. It's by this channel called The Come Up. It's this young girl, okay? And she makes around two hundred thousand dollars every single year by doing coding computer science online so the awesome thing is this well it's just for a company she works there but the point is this guys this took her around 11 to 12 months to get the entire certification and basically start making this much money so the point is if you want to do computer science if you're into that stuff go ahead check out that channel by the way it's called the come up and this week can start that up and also make money. But guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you found one of these 20 to spark something in you to start something. And that was the goal for this video. So if you did find something, comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. And my job has been completed. So as always, make sure you guys like this video. On top of that, also click the subscribe button and also notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which again is every single day. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram, Matthias Bryson. And before I go, if you wanna watch another video for example, on how exactly I make around $23,000 per month. What's the video right here? And also, look at my face right here. It's also right now. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.